Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 14 of Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Series 9 and today is a bit of a special day because today starts the beginning of exclusive sketches just for this series we're going to be using exclusive sketches right through to the end and what is even more fun is that those exclusive sketches are all done by our scrappy friends so some of our friends that are playing along uh, every day or however often they can have also contributed sketches for the rest of the series. So you're going to see some of your favorite scrappy friends who have branched out into making sketches for the next, uh, um, I guess it's 16, is it? Are we going to have 16? I think it will be 16. So today you can see the gorgeous sketch up in the corner by Jessica Michaels and it, it's, gorgeous is it not and you know me with my hexagon so that makes my heart happy for sure the dotty about flare prompt today is mixed media so that sort of works quite perfectly as well i'm going fairly light um i don't think i will add much more in terms of mixed media so what i did uh, first of all, I've crimmed down my white cardstock to 11 and a half by 11 and a half because I think I am going to frame the layout. That is my thought at the moment. I went in with the packaging technique and this colorings, which is, oh, can you, oh, say, can you see? It's one of my favorite of all time colors for sure. And then if you look at the sketch, they are um, there are some splatters in a darker color. And so I went in and got my vibes in velveteen green and did a little bit of splattering. And then I used, oh, I forgot to bring it. Let me get, let me get. Then I went and got my Vicky Booten uh, stencil, which are, you know, the beehive. Uh, stencil so these lovely little hexagons and I got a Stampin' Up ink Tranquil Tide which is in the same tones but it's more of a teal and I just used an ink blending tool and sort of popped along and did some inking uh, on my sheets to get a background that I think um, meets uh, the sketch. So there you go. And therefore my prompt is done already. So I have my idea is I have this fun picture. This is from my grandmother's 90th birthday. And as I've mentioned to you before, I love that she was born in 1900. And when the dates are not on the back of the photo, I can often tell what year it was because of the candles either on the cake or in this case in her hand. So this would have been 1990 when she turned 90. And uh, I will of course mat the photo and then my idea is also to get a shaker pocket on there because I only have the one photo so likely where the second photo is on the sketch I will get a shaker pocket out. So I got the gorgeous um, Cartabella Gather at Home. Uh, these are scraps from the previous layout that I did. What day was that now? Uh, day, doo -doo -doo, I don't remember, <laughs> but I think it was a photo of um, for my grandmother as well. So I have these, got this gorgeous floral that goes beautifully, beautifully with this um, minty green and this peachy pink as well. So what I think I might do, I think I will mat the photo um, in a larger hexagon with this paper. 
then I think, I think anyway, that's where I'm going. Or will I, and then I will make this the top portion of my shaker with the bottom portion of my shaker being in this beautiful green. And I don't think I will be using the other side because this floral is gorgeous, but I have this one to use. And then I will do some hexagons, I think. Oh, that is so pretty, isn't it? So I will just use a little bit of this so that I can get a couple of other hexagons on here. So that is my plan for the paper. Uh, I'm going to use, of course, the Gladiola Fields, uh, which is part of the March release, and it matches this collection beautifully. Now, you can see there's a little bit of purple, and I seem to be working in the peaches and mints and teal colors, but if you look closely to the photo, these are very old photos, and they weren't the best photos, but I'm still using them, and I want to get them in the book. Um, my blouse is purple, uh, almost the exact purple of this lovely sequin and I have some purple in my skirt so I'm going to use that in the shaker and get a little bit of the purple in there as well and then as I had mentioned in the previous layout that I did use in this collection I wanted to use some of these gorgeous hibiscus and leafy bits and I did not so let's see if we can't get them on this layout so let me go get started, my friends, get my photos down and my hexagons um, die cut, and we will come back and finish this together. See you in a minute. Well, there you have it, my friends, and I'm coming back to you with the completed layout. I just, I just got into my zone in my craft space on Sunday afternoon, watching a little bit of tennis while I was completing this. And I love how this came out. I I don't think it was really where I was going necessarily at the beginning. I was going to follow the sketch perhaps a little bit more closely with the hexagons, but I love it. So <clears throat> I got my shaker pocket done, which... Uh, I told you I would with the supplies that I said I would. So I love having the background in this lovely mint green polka dot paper and then this gorgeous floral um, as the frame on the top with the gladiola. Um, let me see. Let me go get them for you. And there you go. So the gladiola fields. And just to show you, look how much I have left. And I've done a shaker pocket here and I think you've seen me use them on two layouts and there are still tons 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 left here so as I mentioned I did leave some of the little purple in here I didn't overfill it on purpose so that we could see the background paper then when I got over to matting my photo in sort of the next size up it was it was just too large. So basically what I did is I trimmed it down. I glued my photo on, trimmed it down, and then put it on the next size up. And I even trimmed that down a little bit so that it's a touch smaller than the shaker pocket. So I got those two down. Then I put two more of the medium size hexagons. And then I was um, using the Gather at Home, this gorgeous collection from Cartabella. And the We Are Family just was staring at me. I, it popped out and I put it there and I loved it. So that sort of became the title. And then I just put one of the gorgeous florals here and there, and I loved that. So I popped 90 here because it was my grandma's 90th birthday using these lovely thickers, um, foam thickers that I have. Then I wanted to just decorate a little bit because I had, therefore, I had this hexagon, which was just there plain, and this little one down here. So I popped on another chipboard, Home Sweet Home, put one of the chipboard banners here with a lovely Flarelicious piece there, two more Flarelicious gorgeousness 
in these two areas because they sort of were just like this a perfect little nook to to put them in and this one I was quite comfortable in leaving plain because it's a lovely floral as it is so there you go my friends a little bit of mixed media I framed the layout this uh was just a piece of paper I had on my desk I had taken out an ad hoc stampin up paper for I think I was planning and getting ready for one of my um Sash Drive Tuesdays and then I looked and this nice deep teal was kind of lovely there is a touch of black in here and I thought oh that would make a nice frame I just laid it there and it was perfect so I gutted it and there you have it so there you go my lovely friends that is day 14 of uh, 30 Days of Sketches Series 9. Um, it is also the first day of exclusive sketches for us. Um, so from today through to the end of the series, we will have an exclusive sketch by one of our lovely, lovely scrappy friends every single day. The Dottie About Flare prompt was mixed media. So there you go, my friends. I hope I've inspired you. Don't forget, if you're playing along, to use the hashtag 30DSCBL9. Lots of inspiration down below. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.